have the perfect place for you to grab a bite to eat afterward. Yes, located on the east side of Detroit in the quaint West Village area. It's a place where making good food is their craft. Michelle Oliver takes us to Dine in the D at Craftwork. From fried chicken to sea bass crudo, Kraftwerk has a little bit of everything, but their items have one thing in common. They're all handcrafted. The German band Kraftwerk was playing when we were putting the business plan together, and we needed a working name, and we thought, oh, we'll just use Kraftwerk. And it also has other meanings, working with your hands, the craft of, of cooking, Craft can, can be anything, whether it's a cocktail or food. The restaurant is very eclectic and homey, with a variety of art and books on the walls. You feel like you could be in, in just about any city. Uh, there's still a very much uh, Detroit feel to the place, but maybe not in the typical fashion. It more has to do with the soul and the fact that this building's 94 years old. So just that sort of broken in, warm, hospitable feel. Their style of food is new American, and the menu is as eclectic as the decor. It's rooted in classics, where we're using quality ingredients, seasonal ingredients, and really focusing on execution and subtlety. We keep a lot of people in mind, whether it's, you know, grandma coming in and dining and finding something that appeals to her or someone that's really into food and is looking to be a bit more adventurous. I think they'll be able to find something here. Short, small menu, but have it well-rounded. Today we're going to make their seared sea scallops. We start by grilling some veggies. So what kind of veggies do we have here? This is a Belgian indive. This is radicchio. We season them with oil, salt, pepper, and crushed red pepper and put them on the grill. We're actually just going to get a little bit of char on the grill and then we're going to throw them in the oven and just kind of let them roast through. As they roast, we start on the scallops. So what kind of scallops are these? These are Massachusetts Bay scallops. Nice. And how big are these, would you say? These are called 10-20 um, scallops, meaning that there's 10 to 20 of them in each pound on nice. average. Yeah. Yep. We season them as well and put them in the pan to saute. And it has that nice sizzle when you yep. put them on. Yep. That's, That's how it. you know you did it right. It. <laughs> then we let them cook. That's my biggest problem when cooking. I want to fidget. I want to like <laughs> stir right, right, or right, flip right, them right, over right, and right, stuff. Right. But letting them sit actually does the best. Yep. Yep. Next, we add in some beef merguez sausage which is a North African sausage. Oh, that's cool. Uh, North African flavor profile. Roasted red peppers, chili powders, um, chili flake, paprika, garlic, a little bit of cumin, a little bit of oregano. Once the scallops have a nice sear on them, into the oven they go, after they're soaked in some of the oil from the sausage. That looks so good. To the sausage, we add an olive tempenade and pine nuts. Crush them a little bit. Oh, I didn't know that. So you can use the flat of the knife to crush uh -huh. nuts? I didn't know that. Once everything's done cooking, we build the plate. A diverse group of people breaking bread together and enjoying themselves is really, I think, the biggest reward that I get. Joining us now, executive chef Aaron Solly. Tell us about uh, the dishes you brought here. Well, we brought a little bit of uh, some things from our raw bar here. It's a scallop crudo. Okay, uh, hold on just a second now. Ooh. The presentation, the visuals of the food, just as important as how it smells and yeah, tastes. Yeah, and yeah, definitely. It's a craft. Def That's why yeah. they call it craft yeah. 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 yeah, very good. <laughs> You're an artist. I love it. <laughs> then we got the oysters. Uh, we've got some, yeah, some uh, West Coast oysters. Those are Kumamoto's. Uh, got a little tuna poke. Now, uh, how long does it, because there's an art to actually putting this on the plate. I know that I'm probably yeah, going to tip, Jason. tip it over there. but. Um, Food prep seems to me to be its own sort of uh, artisan kind of thing. You oh, eat with definitely. your eyes, right? Definitely, definitely. Yeah. You always eat with your eyes mm -hmm. first, so it's got to be appealing when it goes when it hits your table for sure. Can you explain what tuna poke is? Tuna poke. It's poke. It's it's uh, basically uh, raw tuna that's been diced and then put in a marinade that's usually um, soy and a little bit of sesame and sugar. And then you get that. And then you get that. Yeah. Okay, and this looks really good. This is our charcuterie plate. Uh, it's a variety of. Uh, Salamis, uh, some ham and tasso ham that we make in house, uh, a few different cheeses, uh, and of course pickles and mustard. All pickles done in house as well. Do you guys change up the meats and cheeses? Yeah, meats and cheeses change um, with what's available and what we feel like making. Cool. So. 
And then uh, what's this right and here? And this is our bone marrow. Um, it's roasted bone marrow with some parsley, capers, and some grilled bread. Um, there's the big bone broth craze. This is better than bone broth. It's the actual marrow itself. <laughs> I have actually tried this. It feels a little weird eating it, but it's delicious. But it makes you feel great. Yeah, right, right, right. exactly. Yep. Up front there, that is definitely not a PB&J. What do you have going on there? No, no, that's our row toast. Um, so that's a challah bread that's been toasted um, with some horseradish cream, uh, tobiko roe, salmon roe, and some cured egg yolk. So that's sort of like beyond... You don't, don't stop at avocado. You're going on to row. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we have here. And then that's a beef tataki. That's an aged uh, New York strip that's been um, seared and sliced uh, with a uh, some pickled uh, jalapenos, some fresh radish, uh, <laughs> some cilantro and seeds. No problem. <laughs> Awesome. Well, okay, so I love the restaurant. I have been there. Uh -huh. By the way, try the chicken, too. Yeah, yeah That's the, amazing. Yep, yep, everyone needs to try the chicken. <laughs> um, but I do, I love that you guys have, um, like in the piece, you saw books on the wall. Can you actually read them? You can read the books, yep. They're, so if they're, you're dining alone? If, yeah, you can take a book down and, and, um, and read it while you're there. Um, they are, they personally belong to the owner, Hubert, and myself. Okay. Um, and so we just asked, you know, Keep them in the in, in keep condition. them at your table and then put them back on the uh, put them back on the shelf when you're done. Oh yes, and then you guys have a great happy hour right here. We do, we do. We uh, have a, a four to six p.m. Monday through Friday happy hour. Um, what does that entail? It entails uh, oysters, half dozen oysters, chef's choice. Uh, we've got our Big Mac on the menu. Uh, we've got a pork chop sandwich. A few items that are not available um, off our regular menu only during happy hour. Big Mac. And then, yeah. And then, <laughs> you try to slide that by. What's the Big yeah. Mac? Yeah, it's it's our take um, on the, Big the Mac. classic Big Mac. Yeah, it's just a um, really good burger. The handmade patty. But it's crafty. It's crafty. Yes. Of ha handmade crafty. Patty, handmade sauces and, and beastie boys. And such. Yeah. Do you have anybody here you want to bring out and have, have them take a bow for all of the wonderful plating that they uh, did? Yeah, I've got my assistants with me here. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, Don't be shy. Everybody gets to take a bow after plating all this food up for this us. This is Thank our sous chef, Talia, and this is our uh, Graham who helps run our raw bar. All right, all right, on the count of three. Here we go. One, two, three, and bow. Oh, good job. They were working really hard cracking those oysters, and yeah. that's hard work. Yeah. They work hard all the time. <laughs> Tell everybody again where you're located. We're located in the West Village, uh, which is uh, Agnes Street, just off of Van Dyke and Jefferson. Van Dyke and Jefferson. It's a also, great area. If you want to try out craft work, we are giving away two $50 gift certificates to enter. Go to our Live in the D Facebook page, and for contest rules, click on Detroit.com would be your destination. But we want you to go to the Facebook and enter there to win two $50 gift cards. Yep. Thank yep. you all for being thank here. You. Yeah, thank you, guys. Yeah, thank you. Dig in a little bit. Ah, Kim's going in. <laughs>